Thank you, Chairman. Mr. Homan, you began as the Trump ICE uh, acting director at the end of January of 2017, is that correct? I think the date is January 30th, 2017. Does that sound more or less? Yes. And you recall on your first month on the job, Operation Crosscheck, which was a large scale immigration enforcement action across multiple cities. Do you recall that? Not specifically, but we did a lot of operations like that. It was a very significant operation targeting communities in multiple states starting on February 6th, 2017. Um, the ICE officials at the time said this was about going after, and I quote, uh, criminal aliens and making us less safe. But uh, make, they said that this was about making us more safe. But in my community of Austin, Texas, the majority of people arrested and separated from their families had no criminal conviction at all. Do you recall this? I don't specifically recall that, but there's no prerequisite in the immigration law that says you I understand, but you are to be arrested for being in the country I, illegally. I, I understand that. Your ICE spokeswoman at the time said that, quote, the purpose of the operation was removing from the streets criminal aliens and other threats to the public, but then a majority of people arrested had no criminal conviction. Does that square up for you? I don't recall that. I find that... I have another question for you, sir. Are you aware that your chief of staff, when they were asked this question, wrote emails asking agents to come up with, quote, top three egregious cases in order to deflect criticism. And if there weren't three egregious cases, go include a case from a different city. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not. So you're not aware of, your, of what your chief of staff was writing? I don't know every email he writes. No, I don't. There was an email directly to you from DHS Secretary Kelly asking for this issue to be addressed. Then in my city of Austin, Texas, ICE officials were told they failed at this task because the egregious case that they wrote up was from before the time of the operation. Do you recall that? I recall under, when I was ICE director, we arrested thousands of criminal aliens. So you, you, so you don't, to you're, not, you're not answering my question, case, reclaiming my time, case. reclaiming my call, time. Do you recall uh, that when you were asked whether this had to do with public safety, that then Agent LaRon Bryant said to federal judge Andrew Austin that the reason for these ICE operations was not related to a safety protocol, but instead was a result of the Travis County, where Sher Austin is, new policy that would target criminal enforcement on immigrants rather than deporting non-criminal immigrants. Do you recall this? No. So you don't remember um, that uh, Agent Laurent Bryant said under oath that under, under you, in your first month as director, that there was a targeted operation at a city because of a policy choice from a local elected official. You don't recall that? I had 20,000 people under me. I, I don't recall every, every You don't recall this from your said. first month. No, I, I understand. Let me be clear. The right wing and these so-called Trump border prop policies have nothing to do with keeping people safe. This is about ripping families apart, arresting immigrants, and blaming someone for our problems so we can ignore the fact that Trump and these right wing officials are grifters and that Trump is taking millions of dollars from foreign governments to enrich himself, his main policy achievement had nothing to do with the border or migration, but cutting taxes for the rich and the biggest corporations in this country. All the while, the collateral damage is kids being separated from their moms, people in cages, which we can't deny. Mr. Holman sitting here before us said at the CPAC convention, and I quote, he doesn't give a shit about that. And wrong. desperate people that is a wrong living statement. in the shadows. That is a lie. You just said something that wasn't true. And Mr. Chairman, would you please stop the witness from interrupting our members? While legal pathways to migration remain closed and are getting even more closed. Folks here saying they care about sexual assaults by cartels, give me a break. The Republican policies of trying to close legal pathways towards migration is the best blessing that cartels could have ever asked for by making it harder for people to apply for parole, by making it harder for people to seek asylum, Republican policies are exactly what the cartels would like. Y'all are making the cartels money. Y'all are making the cartels money by trying to slash addiction services, by trying to slash helping people with mental health, then yeah, you're helping the cartels. If I was a cartel leader, I would be picking the Republican policies being proposed in HR2 every day of the week. You have people like Governor Abbott saying he would shoot migrants coming across the border if you wouldn't get prosecuted for murder for it. You've got Trump saying immigrants are gonna poison the blood of our country. Don't come here and say that you actually care about the safety of those immigrants. If you cared 
then we would update our immigration laws for the first time since basically I was born so that people could apply safely and wouldn't have to go to a cartel and wouldn't have to go to a criminal organization. Immigration is a good thing. Immigrants are less likely to commit crime, more likely to start small businesses, help us economically. Sure, the food and the parties are much better with us here, but in our system, we have to open up legal pathways and let's not say that this is about safety because every step of the way your agency lied and said it was about safety while you were separating kids. So much time has expired. Uh, to the witnesses, um, if someone says something that hurts your feelings, just leave it there and don't interrupt the members. Uh, respect their time.